As we say hello now to Drew Farnsworth, a soccer junior midfielder at Western Washington University, who uh, on the on the year so far, four goals, a couple of assists, 10 points, and the Vikings, his team, clinched the GNAC title with a 1-0 win over Montana State Billings in Bellingham on Saturday for the Vikings' first title since 2008. Drew, thank you for joining us tonight here on GNAC Insider. Hi, thank you for having me. Well, great to have you. Now, you uh, are playing certainly well this year. The team is certainly playing well this year. Matter of fact, your Vikings are number 19 in the latest United Soccer Coaches poll. As a junior, you, you've uh, you've put some, some uh, play in for the Vikings in, in past years. And matter of fact, you were an all GNAC in 2018. So, so talk a little bit about how this team this year is different and uh, obviously maybe even a little bit better in the teams you played for before there in Bellingham. Yeah, uh, it's definitely been a, uh, a long process to get uh, to the title. But, um, yeah, it's just been great that we're all close as a team and um we're working hard on the field and implica- implicating what uh coach Brez is setting out for us and yeah it's good to see results on the field well obviously you are seeing results with that with that uh, title the first in since 2008 now ironically enough the Viking women also clinched the GNAC regular season crown last time a GNAC school won both the men's and women's titles 2008 when the Vikings did that I don't know if you were aware of that fact or not but is there a little bit of a friendly rivalry between the two squads this year and does their success propel you to success and is the men's team success helping to propel the women to the success they've had uh I wouldn't say it's a rivalry but I'd say there's definitely a bond there we uh we're all close as a unit as soccer players at Western, and um, it's good to see the success from both teams, um, especially now that uh, we're heading into the tournament. We can see their preparation and our preparation. Is is that beneficial to you as as a player? Uh, yeah, I think so. It's good to be in that environment. Um, where we can see uh, how we uh, work towards the tournament. So, yeah, yeah. it's good. Let's st- is there anything in particular that the Vikings have done? Have they, have they played better defensively? Has, has the offense done something differently? Is there, a, is there a section of the Vikings game that you feel is stronger this year than it was last year? Uh, I think uh, definitely our defense is uh, a lot better than it has been in the past. We have uh, two center halves who are six foot, over six foot giants, um, and they definitely help us score goals as well as defend. So, yeah, it's a contribution and uh, finding the balance between defending and attack. Um, mm. And obviously, we have like the likes of Ryan Schaefer, our our striker who's bagged in nine goals. So that's also really good to see. And yeah, it's good. Now, anybody listening to my conversation with Drew Farnsworth from Western Washington may pick up just a, just a hint of an accent there. You are from Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, and I did a little bit of figuring that's uh, by my count, 7,049 miles away from Bellingham, Washington. How did you manage to go from New Zealand to Bellingham? <laughs> uh, ever since I started high school, I, my uh, dream was to come play U.S. soccer. Um, and, yeah, it's with the support of my parents and my family, uh, I've been able to do that. And uh, I went through, like, a recruiting company, and uh, they helped me out and found Western Washington, it seemed like a nice place, and uh, I was a little... I didn't really know what to expect at first uh, coming in, but I just grabbed onto the opportunity, and here I am. 
Well, again, uh, all the way from Auckland, New Zealand. Now, when I think about New Zealand, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know a ton about the country other than the fact I know it's absolutely stunningly beautiful from from friends who have have traveled there. But I always think of of New Zealand as as a country that really kind of gravitates towards rugby. But obviously, you're a soccer standout. How big is the sport of, of soccer there in New Zealand? (laughs) <laughs> well, my dad's a rugby fan, um, but uh, yeah, uh, I grew up in a town that was definitely more so rugby, um, and yeah, it, it's definitely getting bigger uh, in the in New Zealand. Uh, like soccer is growing at a incredible speed, and it's uh, it's good to see. There's a definitely a large number of players coming over to the U.S. and doing the similar sort of thing that I am. Okay, well, interestingly enough, then, what was it about soccer that lured you to go in that direction instead of going with rugby? Because obviously you have tremendous athletic ability. I'm assuming you could have probably played either sport quite quite effectively. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not the biggest, so those rugby players are quite huge so uh yeah i my parents started me off playing soccer and then uh i just fell in love with it and i couldn't i couldn't switch to rugby as i was getting older okay. well drew i got two more questions i want i want to pose to you real quick number one how satisfying was it for you personally and the vikings as a team to win and get the GNAC title there at home Oh, it was it was special. Uh, proud of proud of the squad and uh, all their contribution to the the title. Uh, especially doing it for the seniors. We have a lot of seniors this year, so it was good to uh, get them the win also. And um, yeah, I'm excited for the tournament. Well, okay, let's talk about the tournament. What do you expect? What do the Vikings have to do, and, and, and what do you expect to, uh, to to see at that tournament there? Yeah, so uh, the season's not over for us just because we've won the uh, GNAC. Um, right. We still, we're still fighting for uh, a top four position so that we can host um, in, the, in the West, and uh, that would really boost our chances of progressing further Um, and yeah just making sure that we're we're winning our games and uh, we want to get an undefeated season in the GNAC Um, that would also be a bonus but yeah let's uh, we'll we'll definitely work towards winning that national title so so even though the GNAC's in the the books you are still and I'm assuming your coaches are, are, are making sure this is the case, you're focusing on one match, one uh, what's right ahead of you before uh, getting off into the tournament. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the build-up to the tournament is key for us, um, whether it's putting us in a good position uh, yeah. once we get there. Um, we have a tough game this coming week uh, against Simon Fraser on Thursday. Right. Um, so yeah, that'll definitely put us to the test and, um, I'm sure the boys will be up for it. Well, Drew, we really appreciate you making some time for us tonight here on GNAC Insider. Uh, thanks for, uh, for making, uh, time for us this evening and, uh, good luck as the Vikings continue to play well again, number 19 in the latest United soccer coaches poll and a GNAC team title for both the Viking men and the Viking women. First time that's happened since 2008. Really appreciate you making time for us tonight and continued success. Thank you for having me.